Oh, this is kind of funny. My wife's pregnant again. Yeah. <laughs> whoops. I shouldn't say whoops. We didn't... We did that thing that a lot of people are doing these days where you, you don't take responsibility for your actions. <laughs> Instead, you just say, oh, yeah, we were, we were leaving it up to God. <laughs> right? No. We, were, we just did what you have to do to make a baby a bunch of times without any protection, and then we just waited to see if it was the Lord's plan. <laughs> and it was. We're not finding out the gender. Uh, we're not finding out the gender. We want to be surprised. I, you know, I don't want to be in the delivery room and have the doctor be like, yeah, it's a boy. And then I got to be like, yeah, it better be. That's what you said it was going to be six months ago. Can we have it? We're going to go. We already threw a party. People always ask, what do you want? I'm not answering that. I don't want to say, oh, yeah, I want a boy. You know, then when we have a girl, they can be like, oh, that's the guy that doesn't love his kid. That's not what he wanted. He told us. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. I don't care. I honestly, I do not care. As long as it's healthy and has a penis, <laughs> I am fine. Can I just say this? I just don't want my kids to grow up to be dumb kids. I don't want to have dumb kids for, you know. <laughs> All right. I don't want dumb kids. I don't think it's going to happen, but you know what? There's dumb kids out there. Someone's making them. You know, I don't think that, no one's making them on purpose, right? I think your kid just reaches an age. You look at them one day and you're just like, ah, crap. <laughs> we got a dumb one. <laughs> you still love them. You just got to keep an eye on them. You know what I mean? I took an Uber to the airport in Los Angeles. And my Uber driver, we're getting close to the airport. He's looking at me. He's looking up at the signs. He turns back to me. He goes, hey, so... Are you arriving or departing? Someone made that guy. I didn't even know how to respond. I was like, I'm sorry, what, what is your question? Hey, arriving, or, uh, yeah, but let's do arrivals, sure. Yeah, I just gotta stop at baggage claim, pick up my bags, I'll be right out. Yeah, thank you for picking me up. Yeah. Yeah, I took one of those special planes where they fly you directly to your house and then you take an Uber to go get your bag at the airport. Five stars for you for checking. On my flight here, I got sat next to a guy with a uh, service animal and a service dog. And I've seen people flying with their dogs for a long time. I don't understand. Does anyone here fly with their fake service animal? I've never understood how that works because they got to go to the bathroom. Traveling's a long thing. You got layovers. You got to get there early. And I sat next to this guy and I learned. And it's actually kind of interesting. Apparently, this is how it works. Apparently, before they go in the airport, the dog goes in a relief area outside and then they go in through security together. And then once they're actually up, you know, in the air on the plane, the dog will simply uh, poop and pee all over my bag, down kind of by my feet, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so that's kind of neat. I always wondered how that works. Yeah. While the guy was scrubbing his, his dog's excrement off the hairline floor, I said, oh, God, I'll bet you're glad you got your anxiety dog with you, huh? I'll keep you calm during this awkward exchange. 